Mitchell Stark has been the bowler at the center of the pre-Ashes hype but the left armour insists Josh Hazelwood holds the key to the Australian attack once the series springs into life next Thursday at the Gabba. The trio of Stark, Hazelwood and Pat Cummins were all arrested as New South Wales took on Queensland in the Sheffield Shield match at Allen Border Field. They campaigned strongly in the nearby nets as the Blues' backup brigade rolled the Bulls for just 183. Stark has been a nightmare for Shield bats over the first two rounds, taking 17 wickets at 12.70, including a pair of hat-tricks against a hapless Western Australia. His pace has been electric and already, his lead-up form has raised the notion that he may be able to menace the tourists in the same way fellow Southpaw Mitchell Johnson did in the 2013-14 Whitewash series, when he took 37 wickets. If anything like that were to unfold, Stark said, it would be off the back of Hazelwood's work at the other end. The tall right armour has become the rock for the Australian pace battery, enabling Stark and Cummins to attack with added abandon. He was straight back into his test form after one over of shield cricket. It's a credit to him, he is a bloody genius with line and length. It allows Pat and I and the others to be aggressive and that's how I bowl, Stark said. We can unleash from the other end bowl as quick as we can and attack. He takes his wickets with line and length and Pat and I come in and try and blast teams out, try and attack the stumps and really intimidate. Jacko, Jackson Bird, probably plays that, Hazelwood, role as well. We complement each other really well. It was easy does it for the three quicks in Brisbane on Monday as they completed a relatively restrained net session, as well as having a bat. That won't be either case on Wednesday when they plan to up the ante in preparation for the test opener. I think we will get someone to bat against us on Wednesday. You hold back a little bit, you don't want to hit your mate for starters. We do have a fast bowler's code in our team, it won't happen for England, Stark said. But we are not going to bounce each other here, hopefully we get a batter to bounce on Wednesday. That's not to suggest Australia will be heaving short balls at England. Stark said aggression was always a prime factor for fast bowlers, but execution and smart lines would be the at the heart of their approach. It, aggression, plays a big part. I think everyone makes out fast bowling has to be aggressive and to a part it is, but other times it comes down to discipline and execution. For us it is about getting our lengths right. It is obviously a great ground for Australia in terms of our record. Bowlers and batsmen have played the conditions really well. It is a very good cricket wicket. Bad bowling gets punished. Patient batting gets rewarded. Stark downplayed his efforts with the pink ball against Western Australia, offloading credit to Hazelwood for removing the top order, in turn exposing the less accomplished bats to his lighting left arm. And he does believe he's bowling at a career best. That milestone, he hopes might eventuate over coming months.